Hey guys, Aaron from Small Voice Films here, just with another quick tip for you in Adobe Premiere Pro. Another one of these little quirks that Adobe seems to have quite a lot of. Um, but this time we're looking at the inability to import some MP3 files into Premiere. So if you can see here, I've got a little bit of a sequence set up. Now, if I wanna import uh, some music, let's just come over here, let's just click this song. I want to import that. We come up with this file import failure. For some reason, it doesn't like this MP3 file. I haven't investigated it properly to know the reasons why it doesn't like it. All I know is it doesn't like it. Now, if I try a different MP3 file, let's grab this one here. Oh, look at that. It's come in no problem whatsoever. There it is on my timeline. This was absolutely driving me crazy. I was tearing my hair out, trying to work out how I could get these MP3 files in. Uh, in the end, it was quite a simple fix. All I had to do was jump into my finder where I've got my music. Here's my songs in here. And if I just click on this one and I change the extension to .wav, a WAV file, say, yep, I want to use that. Jump back into Premiere. Let's see if I can import it. There it is, right there. There's the WAV file. Um, no idea why it didn't work on the MP3, but for some reason it works with it changing the extension to a WAV file. Now it makes no sense that these MP3 files can't be imported because if you look at them in any other player on your computer, they'll be able to play fine, whether it's through you know, iTunes or VLC media player or anything, you can play these files. But for some reason, Premiere doesn't like them. Uh, I'll give you another example here. Try and improve, import this Clinton Kane song. Nope, doesn't like it. All right, let's go out to Finder. I'll change the extension on this to a WAV file. Yep, let's use WAV. Come back in here. Clinton Kane, there we go. Let's import that. Oh, there you are. Well, there you go. Another crazy quirk from Adobe Premiere Pro with a quick, simple fix that hopefully should get you back working in no time. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay on the lookout for more Adobe Premiere Pro little tips in the future.